Welcome back. The details. West African leaders were weighing their next moves on Saturday as they seek to overturn a military seize of power in Niger that has rocked the region, but also triggered a groundswell of support in the country. Details. West African leaders were weighing their next moves on Saturday as they seek to overturn a military coup in Niger that has rocked the region but also triggered a groundswell of support in the country. Niger's military last month imprisoned President Mohamed Bazoum and assumed power, drawing condemnation from international powers and raising the specter of further conflict in the impoverished region of West Africa, which is already overrun by deadly extremist insurgency. The regional bloc, ECOWAS, had early on Thursday decided to activate a task force, drawing on troops from across the region for a possible military intervention to undo what was the seventh movement in Western Central Africa in three years. The European Union and African Union joined others in sounding the alarm on Friday. ECOWAS has yet to provide details on a force. Leaders have emphasized they still want a peaceful solution. Thousands of Niger coup supporters took to the streets to protest against plans by West African nations to deploy a military force to the country. Niger's new leaders have accused former colonial power France a close ally of Bazoum of being behind the hardline ECOWAS stance against the coup. Many protesters brandished Russian and Niger flags and shouted their support for the country's new strongman general, Abdurrahman Tiani. Niger's new leaders scrapped defense agreements with France last week, whilst a hostile protest outside the French embassy in Namie on July 30th prompted Paris to evacuate its citizens.